living in Big Apple City is there's always something amazing happening. Like today, the Berry Works is holding a golden berry challenge. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool and I am going to win. Mess it up! Every, Every berry, berry touches, touches the golden berry. berry. If you break contact for any reason, you're out. Whoever is left touching it at the end wins the secret prize hidden inside. <laughs> inside of this anyway. Oh, an endless supply of books. <laughs> I'm gonna need more bookmarks. Books? No way. It's a Slicer ZX Kimisaki dirt bike. Sorry, there is no way a Kiwisaki fits inside that berry. No one does, though. Spark berries. Enough spark berries to fuel my greatest invention, the machine machine. A machine that makes smaller machines. <laughs> <laughs> What do the smaller machines do? I will get back to you on that. I bet the prize is a perfect song. So, there's like a speaker inside. No, just a song. It will play once and disappear forever. That's an interesting theory. What do you think, Strawberry? <gasps> No, no, no. Chocolate chips? No! Sprinkle chips. Woohoo! <laughs> More coconut flakes with a pinch of. Uh, strawberry? Aw, fiddle faddle! Ha <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 no! Aw, so I guess that means blueberry's the winner? Huh? This pigeon is so interesting. Uh, with no clear winner, I think the prize goes to... The MC! Actually, I think he's the winner. Frappe was stuck there the entire time? I cannot believe we didn't notice that. You did say whoever was left touching it at the end was the winner. Ugh, fine. The frog is the winner. Let's see what's inside. It's a gift card to Guava Spava. That's really so boring. Nice. A gift card might not be what we had our hearts set on, but maybe it's exactly what Frappe wanted. What would a frog possibly want with a gift card to a spa? Two meetings and one yoga class, and then I am good to go. Perfect. As soon as I finish these strawberry jelly donuts, I'll meet you at Garscone. <laughs> Did you say Garscone? Oh. Yep. Aunt Praline is taking me out for a girls' night. W-O-W, -W, Garscone is the hottest restaurant in Big Apple City. The food is... What are you going to wear? I was just going to wear this. Close the truck. We're going shopping. I am not fancy. I don't need to get all dressed up to have dinner with my aunt. Strawberry has to get dressed up to have dinner with her aunt. It's Garscone! Blooming Berries is the place to find the perfect look for tonight. I don't know, Lime. This just seems too fancy for me. <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that? Really flowy fantasy. That's super fun, so lose that frown. Let's go get you ready for your big night. Okay, you don't know what to wear. You got this girl, so don't 
Garscone. It's just not really perfect for me. You know what? I I'm not hungry anyway. Maybe I'll just tell Aunt Paling we can rain check for another night. Maybe when it comes to dress up, I can get a teensy bit carried away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Wait! Jelly donut! Jelly what now? Nobody cares what's on the outside of a jelly donut. It's what's inside that matters. Dressing up is fun, but I know that no matter what you wear, you're gonna be a huge hit. You're you. Be your very best. Don't worry. Look fabulous. Well, that is all thanks to my fashion guru, Lime Chiffon. Clearly. I mean, you look very fashion forward. I always try to look my very best. <laughs> <laughs> my first very New Year's Eve in Big Apple City. This is going to be the best night ever! Right, fairies? Why are we out in the cold again? Why are we staying up so late? And why does bubblegum grow on trees? It doesn't? Huh. That answers that question. We have to stay up until midnight so we can make our super special New Year's wishes. My Granberry Jam always says, A New Year's wish at the stroke of midnight always comes true. Granberry Jam wishes? Uh, wishes don't come true. What are you, a little sprout? Nobody believes that stuff. Right, Raspberry? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no berry. Anyways, what are you berries wishing for at midnight? More hours in the day! Being this much of a boss? Way more than a 24-7 commitment! Well, if we're getting crazy, I'd love a first edition of the classic Anna K. Karenina. World peas. So every berry has access to healthy snacks. A year filled with explosions! <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Strawberry? Ooh, well, I always have a wish list up my sleeve. <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's narrowing it down to the perfect wish that's the problem. Well, you still got time till midnight. Better keep my energy up. <sighs> Pinch me if I fall asleep. <sighs> Wow, you're good. <laughs> this is a job for my warmer upper 600. Ah, nice. Warm. Oh, too specific. Too fantastical. Too retro. This is a New Year's wish. It needs to be just right. <sighs> ah! uh, who will pinch me if I fall asleep? 32? 33? Ooh! Guys, I think I have it narrowed down.
down to the top ten best wishes. How will my wish come true if I don't even know what to wish for? You can get this. Just pick something you want to do and make a wish. And someday soon it could come true. Where to start? What could it be? A special wish that's just for me. So many dreams I see. And I think I know what... Hi, Raspberry. <gasps> oh, it's you. You wish on a midnight star, too? Of course. My grandmama Marmalade taught me. After all, a New, New Year's, Year's wish at the stroke of midnight, midnight always comes true. true. Okay, don't make it weird. Every berry has a grandparent. It's no big deal. I wish to be the best baker in Big Apple City. I guess that's your wish, too. Nope. I mean, yes, I do want to be the best baker, but I don't think that's this wish. I wish to make even more amazing friends this year in Big Apple City. Raspberry? Berry, where are you at? If you tell any berry that I made a wish, I will... totally find some way to embarrass you. Very happy new year, Big Apple City. Lemon, your poppers! Cranberry jam says the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all city cherry thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mango Steen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mr. Mango Steen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton of gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. No. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Orange is fast. <laughs> and on your left, you can see Sunberry who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Orange is fast, but hey, she's not gonna beat a bus, right? <laughs> Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! <laughs> yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lighting? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! <laughs> Hello, girls. What can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I, don't I don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make train my pot and I'll lose my baby! Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Crumbcake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. 
You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. <laughs> so, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangelstein's. Is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. We'll start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to... <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry? Hi. Hi. Hi! Where do? I'm a lost berry. Lost little berry, what you gonna do? Lost little berry, help is gonna find you. Hey there, you okay? Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your pet rat help me? Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We can probably take a break. Thank you. I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear. Oh, you'll be fine. Not sure what I should do. Just take your time. But what if I choose wrong and mess up this cute song? Well, then we'll start again. It's no big deal. Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new. And I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cause I believe. You know, be ready to choose your way, and you'll be okay. And if you're not, we'll back it up and start again. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it won't be as scary as you thought, and you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay, cause I believe. cake system. Also, you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, at least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! Mm. Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> 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 